Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 118 scaled Connecticut State Police Ford Crown Victoria. So as you can see, there's no decals really on this car, even though it is technically a marked car. Um, the only decals that I put on are the State Police decals that go, on the s that go on in the center of the light bar. So try to zoom it in here for you guys. So that decals on the front and back of the light bar. Um, we also have the license plate. It's a custom license plate that goes on the front and the back. Um, we have a custom 3D printed push bar with a Pro Guard decal on the front of the bar. It's right there. And then we have clear corner markers, a non working driver's side spotlight. Um, we have black dog dish wheels on both sides of the vehicle. We have a hockey puck antenna back there, or a pancake antenna. Uh, we also have a painted interior. You can see some of it there. And then the spotlight does come out with the door. You open the door and the spotlight comes out with the door. It has a silver handle too, so it just makes it more realistic. Uh, back here, we have a custom black painted trim and the license plate again. And then there's the state police decal on the light bar. And then this side's just a mirror image of the other side. Alrighty, and now we can look at the lighting setup. So this model has um, two lighting stages. The first one is going to turn on the steady burning headlights, taillights, and parking lamps. So here is the side of the vehicle. Um, here's the front. Have the amber LEDs in the middle, and then the two white LEDs on the outer edge. And here is the rear. Alrighty, now let's turn on the emergency lights. So the light, light bar pattern is actually the same lighting pattern as the real Connecticut State Police vehicles. So there's um, alternating strobes on both sides of the light bar. There's wig wagging uh, rear deck lights right next to the third brake light. And that's it for the rear of the car. And let's move on to the front. So obviously you still have the light bar. And there's two grill lights. So it's a, overall a simple lighting setup, but it's really bright and effective. And I really like it. I think it looks really cool. Um, it does have 12 or 11 other patterns. 12 including this one. Uh, but I'm not going to go through all those because it might take a while. So let's just move on and check out this model in the dark. Here is the model in the dark with its headlights, taillights, and parking lamps on. As you can see, the, all the lights are really bright. Um, the video doesn't do enough justice, but still, looks really cool in the video, but it looks a lot better in person. I um, also forgot to tell you guys, the hood does open. So uh, if I can get it open... Well, the hood opens, the front two doors open, the rear doors open as well, and the trunk does too. So here is the side of the vehicle. Now we'll move on to the front. And we'll check out the rear. Okay, and then we'll also check out the emergency lights. Move on to the sides. Not too much lighting on the sides, just the light bar. And here is the front. Get a better view of the grill lights there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you can obviously scroll through the 11 other patterns and have them steady burn, 
have the emergency lights, steady burn, wig wag, strobe, and have a bunch of other patterns as well. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and look out for the next one.